A return to the wild for a bald eagle. The injured bird was found in a residential neighborhood in January, and it took quite an effort to nurse the eagle back to health. Our Patricia Nicholas was there when the eagle was set free this afternoon, and she has her story. Patricia? Olivia, after six weeks, a six-year-old male bald eagle was released back into the wild. Experts say although they do not often treat bald eagles, the injuries that this one sustained was not uncommon. A six-year-old male bald eagle is released back into the wild at the Wachusett Reservoir Tuesday morning. West Boylston Police Sergeant Anthony Papandria found the injured eagle in its front yard in January. You know, I didn't want to bother him, but the curiosity got to me. <laughs> And I, I walked over to take another picture, and he hopped away. And I kind of suspected something wasn't right because he didn't fly away. Mass Wildlife brought the eagle to Tufts Wildlife Clinic. Veterinarian Maureen Murray helped to rehabilitate the bird. She says he suffered a dislocated bone in his shoulder, which is typically a collision injury. Three-week healing time for an orthopedic injury or a bony injury in a bird is pretty typical. Um, and then as important as that injury healing is us getting that bird um, back into uh, physical shape, uh, a, a state of fitness that will allow the bird to fly strongly and be able to do it it needs to do to survive. Mass Wildlife says the bald eagle population has increased steadily in the Commonwealth. A century ago, there were no eagles in the state. They made a comeback through a program which brought and raised juveniles from other states. Currently, there are 51 pairs in the Commonwealth. So you'll find them in remote areas, away from people, and, and at the same time, other, other birds have become quite acclimated to, to humans, and uh, there be of a nest in someone's backyard and, and in a cemetery, and. So, they're, so they're, they're pretty much turning up all over the place. There are ID bands on the bald eagle. So if the bird does stay in the area, Mass Wildlife will know if he's successfully assimilated to the wild. They say they have high hopes. He looks like he's a strong flyer and we all have our fingers crossed. We hope we don't see him back in our clinic ever again. Now the count for bald eagles in the Commonwealth is currently at 51, but Mass Wildlife says that could change when they do their count again later on this year. Back to you, Olivia. All right, Trisha.